Hello. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So, shall we begin the session? Yeah. Same chapter, same topic. That is the digital image processing, and the topic is the spatial and the intensity resolution. That means how we can measure the images in the pixels. How we make it measure the images in the distance pixel that is used with the line line pairs. that is used in the per unit distance that is the spatial and the intensity resolution so a spatial resolution is a measure of the smallest yes it is the smallest information that is available in the image so when we talk about the spatial and the intensity resolution that means there is a resolution that can be stated in a number of ways with the lines per pair per unit distance and the pixel per unit distance that is being among the most common measures that For example, suppose when we want to construct a chart with alternative black and white vertical axes, vertical lines that have a width w units. The so width is therefore the 2w and the yes, width and the height is 1 upon 1 uh, divided by 2w used. For example, if the width of a line is 0.1 mm, there are five lines of pair that is used with this, and there are 100 lines per pair that is used with the dots per unit distance. That is the measure of the image resolution used commonly in the printing and publishing industry. And in the US, this measure used is expressed as dots per inch. That is a DPI. And to give the idea of the quality, you know, paper are printed with a resolution of 75 DPI, magazines at 133 DPI. brochures at 175 dpi and the book pages at which you are uh, presently looking is 2400 dpi that means the book that you seen with a pdf that is used that is showing or that is printed as a 2400 dots per inch and the key point in the preceding paragraph is that to be meaningful a uh, measure of the spatial resolution that must be stated with respect to the spatial units image size by itself does not tell the complete story that, that does not complete that a story or uh, does not tell the complete story and to say that the image has say and resolution that is a pixel that is not a meaningful statement but that can be used with the with the spatial dimension encompassed by the image and size by itself is also helpful only in comparing the or making the comparisons between the imaging capabilities for example when we talk about the digital camera with 20 megapixel ccd imaging chip that can be expected to have a higher capability to resolve detail than a 8 megapixel camera assume that both the cameras are available and both the cameras are used are equipped with the comparable lenses and comparison images are taken at the same distance so whenever we are talking about the uh, comparable images that are taken at the same distance and the intensity resolution that also refers to the smallest change in the intensity level that means there is the intensity that is changed by the resolution of the image and that is regarding the number of the sample that is used to generate a digital image but this is not true regarding the number of intensity level that is not true whatever the intensity that is used and based on the hardware considerations the number of intensity level also uses or usually is a integer power of the two as mentioned in the previous section and the most common number is the 8 bits with 16 bits being used in some applications in which the enhancement of specific intensity ranges is necessary and when we talk about the intensity quantization that also using the 32 bits is very rare and sometimes one find system that can digitize the intensity level of an image that ranging 10 to or 15 bits that are the expectations rather than the rule and unlike the spatial resolutions which must be based on a per per unit of the distance basis to be meaningful that is also practiced to refers to the number of bits that is used to recognize or quantize the intensity at as the intensity resolution For example, it is common to say that an image whose intensity is quantized, quantized into the 256 levels that have eight bits of the intensity resolutions, and that is fixed with the eight-bit system that is fixed with the one divided by 256 unit because two power eight is 256. and there are some uh, also differences that is shown with this one there are multiple differences between part number a part number b so this is a typical effect of reducing the spatial resolution this is 1250 dpi this is second one is 300 dpi that way is much more 
blurness then next one is 150 dpi that is a less 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 than 72 dpi if you see the effects this is more clear picture this is low clear to the first one this is blur totally blur last one is and third second last is um, we can say something correct something wrong because that is not visible effectively and the thin black border are, were added for the clarity they are not the part of the data and in this example we keep the number of sample constant and reduce the number of intensity level from 256 to the 2 that is used in the in the case of the integer power of the 2 that is used with the 452 374 ct projection image that is displayed with k equals to 8 or k equals to 8 that is the 256 intensity levels uh. images of this type are fixing with the x-ray source in one position for example when, when we take the x-ray from from the doctor that is also the same image that is used that is also the same 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 format that we uh, that the doctors will be using this And uh, figure this one through H were obtained by reducing the number of beds from K7 to the K1 while keeping the image size constant at 452 into 374 pixels that is ranging from the 452 into 374 pixels and the 256, 128, 64 level images are also identical for all practical purposes and there is a 32 level image that has a different set that have a different set of data like this one this is the proper image that is a proper face that that is a 452 into 375 to 56 level image that will be used in the same way when we talk about the image that is displayed in the 128 so when we talk about this diagram this is a roughly different diagram this is the different diagram so there's a difference between these diagram and what is the difference there is a 64 level images that are very identical for all the practical purposes now, this is different this is also different so there are four images that is considered over here that is displayed the same different different images while keeping the image size constant that means the size is when you talk about the size that is a constant of the size from here to here this is a constant size from here to here this is a constant this is a constant but the difference is that there are multiple dpi there are different dpi that is used with displaying the data this is the figure that shows first one is a 452 into 374 256 level image then bd that is image displayed in the 128 sorry that is from the b to the d not the b and the d that is from the b till d that is image displayed in the 128 64 and 32 intensity level so this is 256 this is 128 then next one is 64 next one is 32 bits intensity levels that have a fine range or the fine range like structures in the area of the constant or nearly constant intensity that is used or that is particularly used as a skull that is also a part of the scheme and this effect uh, caused by the use of an insufficient number of the intensity level that is used whatever the insufficient number what is whatever the insufficient data that is used with the this one So there are the multi multiple areas of constraint or nearly constraint intensity that is used as a skull and this effect caused by the use of an insufficient number of intensity levels in smooth areas of a digital image that is also known as the false country. So called because the ridges, whatever the ridges, that is reassembled topographic controls in an assignment that is used with the assignment that is used with the data that is that is available with the imaging concept and this effect caused by the use of an insufficient number of intensity level that is also known as the false coloring or sorry false counting so called because the ridges reassemble topographic counters in a map and when we talk about the false counting that is quite visible in images that's displayed using 16 or the less spaces intensity level as the images in the 2.21e through h that is showing above or that is showing below these are the images from the e to the h
So this is the figure 2.21 continued for this one E to H that is displayed in the 16 A42. That means the level of the intensity is decreased, decreased, decreased from 16 to the 8, then 8 to the 4, 4 to the 2. And the original court courtesy of the Dr. David R. Picken, that is the Department of Radiology and the Radiological Sciences, Vanderbilt University, that is also used with the medical center. And as a very rare, uh, the very rough root of the thumb and assuming the integer power of the two, for convenience, images of the size 256 into 256 pixels with 264 intensity levels are also printed on a size format on an order of the 5 into 5 centimeter about the lower spatial and the intensity resolution images that is displayed with the resolution concept that is displayed that can be expected we can say that is used with the sampling checkboards and the false counting. Sometimes we use a yeah, yeah, sometimes the CT scan also have our, we can say the blur picture that is used and yes, that's the main reason why the ultrasound have a good quality picture because they are available with the 32 or the 64 dpi. These are also images, images with the low level of the details, images with the medium level of the detail, then images with the relatively large amount of detail that is used with the, yeah, that is used with the Institute of the Technology, that is the courtesy. So one is with the low level of detail, then medium level of detail, then large amount of detail. And the example that is above, that is illustrate the effect that is produced on image quality by varying the N and the K independently. So whatever the effect, whatever the produced data that is used, that, that, that image quality will be varying, that image quality will be varied with the N and the K independently. However, these results only partially answer the questions of how varying the N and the K affect the images because we have not considered any, any relationship that might exist between these two parameters that is used with the relationship and that is attempted to quantify experimentally the effects on image quality produced by varying the N and the K simultaneously. And the experiment that is used with a set of the subjective test and images that is also shown with two point of figure 2.22 that have a first one is an image with the low level of details, then medium level of details and the high level of detail or large amount of details. And some of these three types of images were generated by varying N and K and the observer then asked to rank them according to their subjective quality. Whatever the results that were summarized in the form of the so-called isopreference curves in the NK plane. And each point in the NK plane represents an image having values of the N and the K equals to the coordinate of that point only point that is lying on an isopreference curve that corresponds to images of equal sub subjective quality. And it was found in the uh, course of the experiment that is also used, that is also tend to shift right and upward, but the shifts in each of the image categories were similar to those in the figure 2.23. Point and the key point of the interest in the context of the present discussion is that the uh, isopreference curve tend to become more vertical as the detail in the image increases. And this result also suggested the images with a large amount of details have a few intensity level. That is so obvious that whenever there is a large amount of detail that have a few intensity level that may be needed. For example, the isopreference curve correspond to the crowd is nearly vertical and this indicates that for a fixed value of the N, the perceived quality for this type of image is also achieved, is also predictable with a typical uh, isopreference curve for the three types of images. This is one image, face, cameraman and this is the crowd. that is independent of the number of the intensity level used and it is of the interest also to note that perceived quality in the other two image categories remained in the same in some interval in which number of sample were discussed were increased but the number of intensity level also actually decreased and the most likely reason for this result is that decrease in the K tend to increase the apparent contrast that is a visual effect that humans often perceives as improved quality in an image that is a perceived quality image that is, that is used with the perceived improved image or improved quality in an image.
And then the next one is the image interpolation. That is a basic tool that is used in tasks, zooming, shrinking, rotating, and the geometric collection, corrections. So when we talk about the image interpolations that is used, that is used in the task, that is used in the basic tools that is used, or that is available, such as the zooming, shrinking, rotating, and the geometric corrections. And our principal objective in this section is to introduce interpretation and apply to the image resizing. So whenever there is a need for the image resizing, that is the shrinking and the zooming, which are basically the image resampling methods. And the usage of the interpolation in applications such as the rotation and the geometric corrections, are, we have discussed already in the 2.6.5, that is also returned to chapter number 4. And the, when we talk about interpolation, that is the process of using known data to estimate the values at unknown locations. So whenever we are using the unknown data, whenever we are using the known data, unknown data, or the known data, that is we already know to estimate the value at the unknown location. So known data at the unknown location is known as the interpolations. And we begin the discussion of this topic with a simple example. Suppose an image of the size 500 into 500 pixels has to be enlarged 1.5 times to 70, 750 into 750 pixels. And this, there's a simple way to recognize to visualize the zooming is to create an imaginary of the 750 into 750 grid with the same pixels that is facing as the original and then shrink it so that it fits exactly over the original image. That means it, is, it fits whatever the original image size. And very obviously, the pixel spacing in the shrunken 715 to 715 grid will be less than the pixel spacing in the original image. And whenever we are performing the intensity level assignment that is used in the in the pixel of the 715 to 750 grid. And the method that discusses the nearest neighbor interpretation. That means the nearest neighbor means that, that is the 500 or 750 is very nearer to the 500. Because it assigns to the new location the intensity of its nearest neighbor in the original image, that is the pixels neighborhood that are discussed already in this one. And this, this approach is very simple, but when it has a tendent, tendency to produce undesirable products also, that is the, such as the distortion of the straight edges, that means distortion means there is not straight line that is formed. For this reason, it is used infrequently in the practice and a more suitable approach in bilinear interpretation in which we are using the four uh, nearest neighbors to estimate the bilinear to estimate the intensity at a given location. Now, for example, let, let, let us take the coordinate as the x, y that denotes the coordinate of the location to which we are assigning the intensity values. And let V, X, Y denote the intensity value. So one is the coordinate of the locations, one is the V, X, Y to denote the intensity value. And for the bilinear interpretation, the assigned value will be obtained using the equation Vxy equals to Ax plus By plus Cxy plus D. Where the four coefficients are determined with the four equations with the four unknown assignments that is used with the nearest neighbor of the point Xy. And the bilinear interpretation also gives us the better result that, that the nearest neighbor interpretation with the modest increase in the computational burden. There is a increase in the computational burden, increase in the mathematical calculations. And the next level of complexity is the bicubic interpretation that involves a 16 nearest neighbor of a point and the intensity value of the point x, y is obtained using the equation. This is the equation that is distributed. Next level of the complexity is the bicubic interpolations. Uh, interpolations that is the bicubic. One is a bilinear, one is a bicubic. Bilinear involves only the linear pair that is of a degree, or every variable have a degree one, and the bicubic everyone have a degree three. 
we should know the six, 16 nearest neighbor of a point. And the intensity value assigned to the point x, y is also obtained using the equation. This is the equation that is obtained over here. Where the 16 coefficients are determined from the 16 equations in 16 unknown that can be written using the 16 nearest neighbors of the point x, y. And that is reduced to the form if the limitations or the limits of its summations in the formal equation are from 0 to the 1. And generally, when we talk about the generally, bicupic interpolation does a better job of the preserving the fine detail that is its bilinear counterpart. And that is used in the commercial image editing program that is, for example, there is a Corel Pro Photoshop Dreamweavers. Now, these are again the figure that shows the clarity from A, B, C that is more clear, clear than the A, B is more clear than the A, then C is more, more, more clear than the B. In the same way, D is more clear, E is more clear than the previous one, and the last one is also more clear. So the first one is image reduced to the 72 dpi and zoomed back. So first one is the 72 dpi, then that is zoomed back to the original image, that is zoomed back to the original content. using the nearest neighbor interpolations and the fi figure that is shown in this uh, that is shown in the figure 2.20d that means the last figure that is shown as a 72 dpi then image shrank and zoomed using the bilinear interpolations Now, C part is also same as the B, but the main difference is that it uses the bicubic interpolations. Then D, as it is or T2 have same sequence, but shrinking down to the 150 dpi. So, one, first one is the 72 dpi, then more dpi, that is the 152 or 150 dpi instead of the 72 dpi. So, this, this diagram or this diagram shows the usage of the bilinear and the bicubic interpolations and also the 72 dpi as well as the 150 dpi and this bicupic interpolation respectively to shrink and zoom the image and in spite of a reduction in resolution from 1 to 5 0 to 150 these these last two images compare reasonably favorably with the original showing once again the power of these two interpolation methods and as before bicupic interpolations also uh, gives the sharper results it is also possible to use the neighbors, that is what are the various relationships between the pixels. First one is the neighbors of the pixels. For example, when you talk about the pixels, that is the next coordinate or the next level coordinate, that is the four horizontal and the vertical neighbors whose coordinates are given below with this, that is x plus 1, y, then x minus 1, y, x into x comma 1, y plus 1, that means at one place, y is incremented at the x-axis and the, sorry, x is incremented at the x-axis and x is incremented at, incremented at the x-axis. That is x plus 1 y, then x minus 1 y. In the same way, next coordinate is x, then y plus 1, then x y minus 1. One is incremented at the y end, one is incremented at the, or decremented at the y end. So, one is x y plus 1, x y minus 1. And this set of pixels, also known as the four neighbors of P, that is denoted by the n for P. And this is the unit distance from x, y and some of the neighbor location of the P that lies outside in the digital image. It is the border of the, or it is on the border of the image. And there are four diagonal neighbors of the P that have a coordinate. So these are the four diagonal neighbors, or we can say the coordinate of this. So one is incremented with the x1, or x plus 1, y plus 1, x plus 1, y minus 1. Then negative values of the x and the positive values of the y. And these points together with the four neighbors are known as the eight neighbors of the P that is denoted by the N8. And these are the location that falls outside of the image that is on the border of the image. The next one is connectivity, reasons and the boundary. How we connect, how we give the reasons, what are the various uses of the boundaries.
now this these are the distance measurement what are the various measurement of the distance that is denoted by the dpq that is greater than or equals to 0 then dpq that is equals to dqp so one is a greater than one is equals to then dpz that is a less than equals to the dpq plus qz then equilating uh, distance between P and Q is also defined over here that is a DEPQ that is equals to the X minus S whole square plus Y minus T whole square and there's the default distance that is also known as a city block distance that is used between the P and the Q that is defined with the D4 PQ X minus S there is a bar then y minus t there is a bar and in this case the pixels having the default distance from x y less than or equals to the same value are from the diamond center at the x y for example the pixels with default distance is less than 2 from x y the center point that forms a following contour of the or contours of the constraint distance there is a 2 1 2 then 2 1 0 1 2 then 2 1 2 2 The pixels with the D4 equals to 1 are the four neighbors of the XY. The D8 distance that is also known as the chessboard distance that is between the P and the Q is defined as D8 PQ equals to max X minus S and Y minus T. In this case, the pixels with the D8 distance from XY less than or equals to some uh, value R also formed a square centered at the XY. For example, when we are talking about the pixels with the D8 distance that is less than 2 from XY with the center point that forms the following contours of the constraint distance. Then this is the 5 twos, then the 5 twos. And the pixels with D8 equals to 1 are also the 8 neighbors of the XY. Now, what are the various mathematical tools that is used in the digital image processing? Now, first of all, tell me any doubts anyone in any other topic prior to this mathematical tools. Yeah, these yeah, these are the distances that is uh, also used in the clockwise direction, also used in the anti-clockwise direction. So one is the distance measurement that is used with the PQ and Z with the coordinate X, Y, S, T and the VW. And D is the distance function of the metric if DPQ is uh, greater than 0 and if and only if P equals to Q then DPQ equals to DQP and whenever it is used there is a PZ that is less than equals to DPQ plus DQZ. And whatever the distance that is used between the P and the Q that is also defined like this. Yes, that is also okay. Yeah, there are three coordinates that is used for this measurement that is used for the distance formula x y s t and the v w you can take any of the variable there is no hard and fast tool that is using uh, x y but the main concern is that these are the unique ones
and there are two types of background and the foreground there are two types of point that lies on the coordinate that lies on the ru one is a foreground one is a background that is used with the ruc and the rub and there is a length disjoint also that is used with the vertical axis that is used with the pixel that is used with the boundaries for example when you talk about the pixel with the range of the possible intensity values that range from the 0 to 255 that also set with the subset of the 256 values and there are three levels of the yeah there are three levels of the adjustancy one is a four level the next is a eight level then m level that is a mixed two pixels with the value from v are also m adjustant if q is np4 q is ndp Now these two points, uh, one is a, yeah, that's why it is, yes, just, just, so that's why it is used that as a mix, that's why it is used as a mix, mix that means one is the NP, P and the NDP. And there's a set intersection of the NPP and the N4P and the N4Q that has the no pixels whose values are from the V. And there is a X0, Y0, X1, Y1 till Xn, Yn. <laughs> Where x0, y0 equals to xy, xn, yn equals to st and the pixels xi, y0 and the x minus or i minus 1 and the i, y, i minus 1. That are the adjustments for the i is from the 1 to the n. And in this case, n, in the n is the length of the path. And x0, y0 is the path that is a closed path. And we can define the 4, 8 or the m path that depend on the type of the density that is specified. And there's a connected component of the S also, there's a com connected component of the or connected set with the set C. And these are the figure that shows, yeah, there's a uh, small DPI, one is a 72 DPI, the last one is a 150 DPI. So there's a difference between the DPI of the first image, that is a 72, and we can say the double of this 72, that is a 150 DPI. And this is the nearest neighbor interpolations because it assigned to each new location then the intensity of its nearest neighbor in the original pixel, original image. And that is also used with the image resampling methods. This is used in the rotation as well as the geometric correction that is discussed in this. And this is the figure, the first one is the figure for the face, then next one is the figure for the cameraman, next one is the figure for the crowd. And there are two types of curve that is used in this, one is ISO preference curve, that is NK plane, and one is a So next topic that is a uh, which is the next topic now any doubts anyone in these topics no okay so next topic that is a uh, mathematical combinations we can say I think yeah mathematical tool that is used in the digital image processing so what are the various mathematical tools that is available in the digital image processing uh, mathematical tools that includes the operations also that includes the five gradations that includes the discrete mathematics also so what are the various mathematical tool that is used in the digital image processing so we will taking this this one is in the next class that is in the tomorrow's class so that's all for today's session and if there is any doubts, any, any doubts regarding the assignment, regarding the module, this module, any module, you can ask the doubts and clarify the doubts. So next topic, that is the tomorrow's topic is the mathematical tools used in the digital image processing. All right.